Howdy all, lovely to see you all again. A very special lesson today, we're going to be looking at Eddie Van Halen's solo, Embedded by Michael Jackson. It's a total win. Anyway, let's take a look. Side, we just need to talk about the tuning, which is E flat standard, which goes E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and another E flat. So get yourself in tune and we'll get started. Okay, guys, let's take a look at the first section. Now, one thing I want to keep in mind before we start this uh, little dive at the start is to press down before we've ever done anything. So, what I'm doing here is hammering on the fourth fret of the third string and then just bring that dive up give it a light vibrato at the top as well. Then from there, I slide from four to seven. And when I hold that seventh fret, I'm doing a tap harmonic on 14th fret of that same string. So it's not like a full on tap. We're just sort of gently tapping in and out. I find the loudest tap and the best kind of harmonic I get is when I'm physically on that bar. So from the start, we've got the dive. That, I want to hammer to nine of the third string. Now, a lot of people tap this harmonic, but it depends on your action. It doesn't always come across that good because it's a bit of a difficult harmonic. So I tend to find that I want to pinch harmonic that. So all I'm doing there is lightly brushing my pointer finger and then plucking behind it with my thumb. So from the start, nice and slow. That's making sense, and then we work into this. Now, what I want to do here is tap 15 of the first string and then hammer 10, 12, 14. So I'm tapping the 15 of the first and then 10, 12, 14, all on the first string. When I finish that, I want to do exactly the same thing three times. So from this point now, I'm not jumping behind and working forwards, it's straight um, descends from 15. So I'm tapping 15 and then playing 14, 12, 10, three times. So it'll all together will go. Okay, then I want to do pretty much the same descending tap from the second string, but I'm just going to do this twice. So it's going to go tap 15, 14, 12, 10, twice. At the end of that, what I do there is I want to slide from 12 to 13, and then just play 12 again at the end of that. So it'll go. That's the whole section. So let's take it slowly and then we'll do it one more time with some tabs. Tap harmonic, pinch harmonic, the tabs. One more time with some tabs. So let's have a look at uh, the second section. Now, it's a pretty big stretch. That's probably what makes it really difficult. I would suggest using the pointer in the middle and the pinky for this. If you use the ring, you're gonna have a lot of trouble between the pinky and the ring there. So initially I wanna start from 12 of the second string. And then after that, I'm hammering 15, 19. Using my middle to the pinky there. Then I jump to the first string. I wanna hammer 12 to 19. And then pull off to 15, 12. Okay, at the end of that, I want to jump to 19 of the second string, and I'm going to play 19, pull off to 15, hammer back to the 19, and then pull off to the 15 again. So it's four notes with one pick. All together. Okay, and then from there, I want to work into this next little phrase. Now, the way I think of this is two groups of five. It's pretty much exactly the same thing twice. The first one I'm going to pick and then the second one I'm going to pull off into. So I'll play the first group. I'm hammering 12 to 15 on the second string. Then jumping to 12 of the first. Okay, 
okay? And then I want to pull off uh, 19 to 15 on the second string again. And those are the five notes. Now instead of picking the 12 to start the second groove, I'm just going to pull off to it from the end of the last phrase. So I'll do the whole thing twice. So just not picking that. Let's take it from the start of the whole thing and then we'll work on the next chunk. Okay, then we're working to this. Okay, so what I'm doing here is a flat finger on 12 of the first two strings. I'm playing 12 of the first and then 12 of the second. And then I work into this phrase. Okay, so at the top of that I had to bend on 14 of the third string, bending it up and back and then pulling off to 12. I'm doing pretty much the same idea on the second string, but I'm bending from 15 up and back and then pulling off to the 12. At the end of that, I want to do a tap slide from 15. It's not necessarily going anywhere particularly melodic. It's just an adventurous slide for effect. So we're going... Hopefully that's all making sense thus far. After that, we're going to work in this little chunk. So what I'm doing here is a bend from 14 to tw uh, on the 3rd string up and back and then I pull off to the 12. I want to pull off to that kind of gross open G note or G flat. I've got a bit of a whammy dive and then when the whammy comes back up I'm catching a harmonic on 5th fret. Okay cool. There's one more little bit to that. I want to do a hammer on from 7 to 9 on the 3rd string. When I get to that 9, I do a quick sort of flutter with the whammy. And then I'll just pull off to that 7, and that's the whole section. Let's try all of section 2 relatively slowly, and then we'll do it one more time with some taps. Steps. Okay, so let's have a look at the third section. I want to start off basically with hammer on to five of the second string. We're not going to pluck it, and then as soon as we hit that. We're going to hit that whammy flutter and then pull off to three open. We're going to do the same thing four times in a row. I've got a bit of a... Maybe bending up. A bit of a bendy squeal on two of the third string. So after that, uh, we're going to do that bendy squeal. We want to slide. I slide all the way. Um, doesn't particularly matter where you start. I guess sort of between 9 or 12, I guess. I want to slide to 16 of the 3rd string. After that, I'm doing a big bend on 15 of the 2nd string. Okay, and we're working to this. So what I've got here is a flat finger on 12 of the 1st two strings again. I'm playing the 1st and the 2nd, and then a big bend on 15 of the 1st. Okay. After I bring it down, I do a quick pull off to 12 the same string and I want to end on this. So what I've got here is a bend from 14 of the 3rd pulling off to the 12 and then I just want to hit the 14 and give that a gentlemanly vibrato. Alright, let's try and take it from the start of the section relatively slowly and then we'll do it again with some tabs. Taps. Okay, thanks for sticking with me. Uh, let's have a look at the last section now. We want to start off with just a lead in from the offbeat of the previous bar. I'm going to tap 15 and then hammer 8 12 on the second string. And then for the first beat of the next bar, we're going to do the same idea, but from the first string. It's going to go 15, 8, 12 is the hammer on the first string. With the tap, and then we tap the 15 of the second string again, and then do that phrase. So we've got the lead in, and then 
then from the first string, I'm going to do that little phrase four times. So I've got the lead in. One, two, three, four. Okay, then at the end of that I go. So what I've got here is I'm tapping, um, what have I got here? 17 of the first string and then I'm hammering after that pull off from 10 to 14. I do that twice. At the end of that, I just want to tap the 17 and pull off to the 10. So I go. All together. Hopefully that makes sense. And then we just work into the big end here. I'm going to start off with a dual bend from 12 of the first string and then bending 15 of the second. And I want to do the same thing from 14 of the first string to 17 of the second. Okay, now from there, I'll start working into the trim. If you want to time it perfectly in triplets, this is how I think of it. I've got a quick group of six. And then I've got eight on, so that was on 14 of the first string. And then I've got eight on 15. Okay, then 17, I've got a group of eight. Then 19, I've got a group of eight. Now this last bit. Is a pretty epic bend with some trim picking. So the way I kind of think of it is I'm doing three groups of 12 and then a group of six if you want to be really, really anal, but you can just bend it and then do a trim pick and then do a big slide uh, from 22 of the fifth. I think that was the one that I thought sounded the best on the fifth string. So let's take our time from the start of this section and then we'll do it slowly with some tabs. Taps. And there you guys have it, the beaded solo. Hope you guys have enjoyed that. Catch you real soon.